So let's look at some examples now of solving by factoring. So we've already covered how to factor. Now we want to solve by factoring. So example one is already in factored form. So that makes it really easy to set up how to solve by factoring. You just want to take each factor and set them equal to zero. So 2x minus 8 will equal zero. And 3x plus 9 will equal zero. And then you want to solve each one of those equations to get your solutions. So if I add 8 to both sides to get rid of that minus 8, I get 2x equals 8. And if I divide by 2, x will equal 4 for one of my roots or solutions or x-intercepts. They all mean the same thing. Over here, if I subtract 9 from both sides to get rid of the 9, I end up with 3x equals negative 9. And then when I divide both sides by 3, x will equal negative 3. So when x equals 4 or negative 3, we say that the roots, if my pen will write, roots, zeros, these are x-intercepts, or solutions. All of those words mean the same thing when we're solving quadratics. So these numbers would qualify for if they ask you for any of those four things. All right, let's look at example two. So this one's not in factored form, so we just need to factor it first and then set our factors equal to zero. So we have x squared plus 5x minus 14. So take the one that's in front times the negative 14. We're going to set up our t-bar, and so we get negative 14x squared. And then we need to add up to get the 5x that's in the middle. So we have to multiply and add. So if we're multiplying to get a negative 14x squared and we're adding to get a positive 5x, we need to have a negative and a positive number. All right, so let's start with negative 1x times 14x. So those add up to give us 13x. So they're not quite right. If we have negative 2x times 7x, those add up to 5x, which is what we need. So let's stop there and take our numbers over here and replace 5x with negative 2x plus 7x. Bring down the first term, bring down the last term, and from there, you can just do grouping to finish solving. Because we're solving, or we're going to finish factoring, I should say. And then we'll work on the solving part, because all of this is still equal to zero. Okay, so in the first group, we could take out an x, and we would have x minus 2 left over. And in the second group, we could take out a 7, and we have x minus 2 left over. And so when we put those together, we have x plus 7 x minus 2 are the factors. And then all of this is still equal to 0. So to solve by factoring, we need to set each one of those equal to 0 and finish solving those little equations separately. So x plus 7 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. So if x plus 7 equals 0, we have to subtract 7, and x would just equal negative 7. And then if x minus 2 equals 0, we need to add 2 to both sides, and x would just equal 2. So again, these are our roots, x-intercepts, they are zeros, they are solutions. Any of those words really all mean the same thing for quadratics. Now let's take a look at one more for this video, and then we'll do some more in a separate video. So in this example, we have 2x squared plus 19x equals negative 24. So the first thing to do is get everything on one side. So we'll have 2x squared plus 19x plus 24 equals 0. And then we could take the 2x squared times 24 and start figuring out what our numbers need to be. So 48x squared and 19x are what we need. We're going to multiply to get 48x squared, and we're going to add to get 19x. And they are both positive, so we just need some positive combinations. So 1x times 48x would be 49x. And then 
2x times 24x would give us, when we add them together, 26x. So that's not quite right. And then 3x times 16x gives us 48. And then when we add, they give us 19x. All right, so those are the numbers we need. So 3x times, times 16x. So we need to rewrite 3x plus 16x over here. Bring down our last term and bring down our first term. And then we're going to finish by grouping. So let's group the first two and the last two. From 2x squared plus 3x, we could take out an x, and we have 2x plus 3 left over. From 16x plus 24, we could take out 8, and we have 2x plus 3 left over. And then put x plus 8 together and 2x plus 3. And those are our factors. Now keep in mind, this is still equal to zero, so we need to finish solving by setting each one of our factors equal to zero. So x plus eight equals zero. We could subtract eight, and x will equal negative eight for one of our roots or zeros or solutions. And then two x plus three equals zero. We need to subtract three, bring down two x, equals negative 3, and then divide by 2. So now we get x equals negative 3 halves. And we can just leave it like that. So these are our roots, solutions, x-intercepts, or zeros. And that's it for the first three examples.